we're in my hometown of Houston, Texas, where I'm about to show you guys one of my favorite local hotspots. Let's go check it out. Got a beer snob in your life? Then bring them here. From a cougar paw to a people's champ to a rocket fuel, Eighth Wonder Brewery has got one of the most unique and tasty beer selections in the entire state of Texas. So we're in the heart of downtown Houston. What uh, brought you guys to this location? Really blind luck. Um, we were looking for a place for our brewery and when I thought brewery, I the first thing that came to mind was industrial and urban and we lucked out, found a spot and you know, when we signed a lease here in 2011, this was not a place where people were hanging out. Yeah. But fast forward now to 2018 and this neighborhood is booming. Uh, we're walking distance to you know three major sports stadiums. There's bars and restaurants opening up all around us. People are moving into the neighborhood. It's really an exciting time for this neighborhood, and we're uh, we're proud to be a part of it. Nice. And then the names. That's the main thing that stood out to me. Is the names are kind of Houston based. Yeah, I mean, obviously a lot, everything a lot of them are. And um, again, just inspired by the city. And we're just again some some nods to Houston and some other uh, history around us. So do y'all take suggestions? We have, we, we're open to them. Sometimes uh, we have a name and then we'll kind of design a beer to fit that name. And other okay. times we have a recipe and then we gotta kind of scramble and find a name to fit that recipe. But yeah, we're open to suggestions. You got something for so us? So it was a drive here. So what came to my mind, YOLO Texas. I think that's a great Ayo. name for a great beer. Great co-branding opportunity exactly. here. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Right on. So I hear I'm gonna get a sneak peek to see where all the magic happens. Absolutely, let's go meet my partner Aaron. Uh, he's the brewmaster here and he can give you a full tour. Okay, nice. Right Excited. On. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Cheers. Right on. So we're standing in our brew house. We actually have a 20 barrel brew house, which means this vessel can make about 40 kegs of beer at one time. So right behind you, we have our mash tun. This is where we're converting starch into sugar making a liquid called wort. Wort is beer before we add the yeast. So we take about a ton of grain, we crack it open, exposing the starch in the ovule. We'll nice. pipe it over here through an auger system, combine it with hot water, a process called mashing. Perfect. The enzymes will convert those starches into sugars. We'll then, after mashing, bring it over here to the boil kettle. We'll take that wort, bring it up to a boil. We'll add hops in different stages. Uh, we'll give a little bit of a rest. We'll send it over to the fermenters. Uh, we'll cool it down from 212 degrees to about 68 degrees. Okay. It's actually a very fast process. We can do that in about eight seconds. Will I be able to get my hands on it to kind of help out with this whole scientific beer making process? Absolutely. In a few minutes, we're gonna be graining out. We're gonna take that grain that we've converted into sugar, all the spent grain, the husks and the stuff we don't need, we'll go ahead and we'll put that into barrels, give it to farmers so they can use it as feed or compost. So drink beer, you're doing good things for farmers and for the environment. <laughs> first things first, I gotta change out my boots before I start. Now these boots were made for walking. So we've converted all the starts and sugar that we need. Mm -hmm. We've then transferred it over to the brew kettle. Okay. We've done a process called sparging, where we go ahead and rinse uh, that grain bed with a little extra water, making sure we remove all the fermentables. Okay. Now it is just a whole bunch of spent grain. We'll be pulling that out, and you'll actually be raking that out of the mash tub. Experience together. Let's do this. Ready to top this barrel off. This is a great arm workout. There you go. That's good. That's good? Yeah. Okay, I got excited. I wanted to do more. Alright, guys, so I'm here with Justin, the tap room manager. So, Justin, I hear we are going to be trying a few uh, beers from this flight here. Can you tell me a little bit about each one? I sure can. Uh, the first one you're gonna chase is gonna be our dome foam. That's okay. gonna be like our signature flagship one. That's the one that's in all the stadiums. It's kind of an easy drinker. The next one's gonna be Intellectual. That's gonna be our Wit Blonde. The next one's gonna be Cougar Paul, okay. which is our red ale. A little bit dark in color, but also drinks light. And then the next one I have for you is gonna be Rocket Fuel, our Vietnamese coffee porter. Dome foam. Dome foam. <laughs> this is delicious. It's like, reminds me of summer and sunshine. Intellectual. Wow. With blonde. It still goes down smooth, but you can taste it as soon as it hits your hits your your palate. And so then we get a little darker. Okay. That's our red ale, our cougar paw. Cougar. So like U of H cougar. It is. 
Okay, so I'm not a big dark beer drinker, but this is not difficult to drink at all. This I know a lot really of people. Good. A lot of people are scared of the dark beers, mm -hmm. but this one kind of lets them in and like, hey, dark beers can be easy drinking as well. Yeah. So that's kind of like an introductory one. The next one's a little special. Uh, this one is our Vietnamese coffee porter. So if you like coffee, um, you're gonna love this one. Okay, I like coffee, but I add a lot of sugar and cream. There is, so let's there, see. There is some milk sugar added to it, so there's, oh, it's nice. gonna be sweet as well. Oh my gosh. This is You're like gonna drink the whole thing. I'm gonna so drink the whole thing. Beer. This is really good. After these beers, I think I need some food. I would look no further than outside. We have the Easy Boys food truck out there. You should try the Texas Day Cubano. That's my favorite. A little smoked ham on there, Swiss cheese, Dijon mustard, pickles. Classic Cubano with a little Texas twist with that barbecue on there. Order up for Tessa. It's so good. It's like a Texas grilled cheese. It's delicious. It's amazing. All right, guys, that does it for me here at 8th Wonder Brewery. If you are ever in the Houston area, you got to come check this place out. Great beer, great food, great people. Overall, a great place to hang out. And when you come, don't forget to tell them YOLO Texas sent you. Later. Want to check out 8th Wonder Brewery for yourself? Visit 8thWonder.com to learn more.